All right, well, welcome back to Pokemon. Uh, for you, it's been a couple days. For me, it's been a very, very, very long time. Um, I've had a whole bunch of stuff going on lately uh, that has kind of limited my ability to record and edit and whatnot. Uh, we moved. Uh, our car died, and we got a new car. Alright, oh, there's Mirage Tower. Alright, I guess I'll do this. Um, <laughs> didn't actually plan to do this today, but sure, why not? Um, I got surgery, so I'm currently at home recovering from surgery, which means I have the perfect amount of time to play Pokemon and finally edit all these videos that have been piling up that I've been needing to edit for a while, including Pikmin. Uh, as of recording this, Pikmin is supposed to be going back up, starting back up tomorrow. Um, I'm currently uploading everything, so I'm recording this on Saturday. I believe Pikmin's probably going to start going back up again on Sunday. Uh, of course, for when you're viewing this video, that's going to be several weeks ago that that had started. So, it doesn't really matter to you, but... Just a little bit of a time frame here. Um, so if things sound a little different, it's probably because I'm in a completely different recording space now. Um, hopefully a little quieter. Uh, I know things have been a little, a little noisy. Oh, I have to use the bike here. Um, I don't actually know if I can get across this with the acro bike. I might need the mock bike. So hope anyway, hopefully things will be a little better all around. Um, that is the hope. Oh, Trap Inch. Okay, I'm gonna go on a little bit of a rant for t for Trap Inch because I love this Pokemon. I love this entire line, but it pisses me off. <laughs> so Trap Inch is very clearly a bug. Its evolutions are even more so very clearly a bug. I'm fine with it being Ground-type. Ground-type makes sense uh, for this Pokémon. Ground-type doesn't make as much sense for its evolutions, but whatever. I like the idea of Dragon Ground. That's a neat idea. However, it would make way more sense... Yeah, I need a different bike. It would make way more sense to me if Vibrava... Like... If it went Tramp Inch, Bug Ground, or even just Ground, I would go with Bug Ground, personally. Uh, its next evo its evolution uh, being, you know what, sure, if you want to turn into Bug Flying, then go for that. And then that evolution being Bug Dragon. To me, it should be a Bug Dragon. It's a fucking Dragonfly. Like, I like it being Ground-type. That's cool, but it makes way more sense for it to be a dragon, and also a bug. That's my little rant. Uh, I would love to use those Pokémon. Uh, they're technically... I don't, I don't know. I don't know, like... It's, it's weird. Whatever. Uh, also, I will probably be a lot more rambly today. Uh, future me will probably have to be editing a lot more out because I'm on painkillers, uh, because I'm recovering from surgery. Which, before any of you ask, I'm completely fine. Uh, it was a very simple procedure, something I've been planning for a while, um, that will hopefully greatly improve my quality of life. Uh, nothing, nothing too bad. Should be fine in a week or two. Uh, that sort of thing. Okay. Um, well, I did want to go and explore up here anyway, because I really don't have a whole lot to do today. I need to go fight my dad. Uh, otherwise, it's explore a couple things, maybe check out the trick house. So, I guess I'll explore the desert a bit just to get some levels, and then go fight my dad. Alright, well, I went back and got the acro bike, but unfortunately, Mirage Tower has already left. Uh, so, I guess I won't be dealing with that today. I guess I'll have to do stuff with that later. Um, I believe there is a little bit 
left for me to do over here? I think there might be one more trainer. Yeah, there's one more dude here. Uh, I've been... Skarmory has been very good to use for this area because very few things here can actually do, like, any damage to him at all. Um, most things here have ground moves, normal moves, or in the case of Shantru, ground moves, normal moves, and poison moves. Uh, only the normal moves can actually do any damage, and they don't do much because it's a fucking Skarmory. Uh, <laughs> yeah, like that slash did three damage. Now, I also cannot do a whole lot of damage to these guys. Uh, most of these Sand Shrew also have Sand Veil, so if I don't use Swift, I have a very good chance of missing. So these battles are very slow. But they're consistent and pretty easy. Um, Skarmory is able to deal with these guys without any real issue. They're just very slow battles. Uh, so I'm glad I did pretty much all of that off screen, <laughs> because I wouldn't have. Even playing through it myself, I'm sitting there going, well, this isn't the most exciting thing. Uh, <laughs> but I believe, other than the Mirage Tower and this little area over here that we also needed the Acro- er, also needed the Mock Bike for, that should be everything in this area. Oh, and we've got some more fighters. Cool. Alright, so yeah, this this didn't lead to much, it was just kind of a shortcut up here. Uh, allows you to skip a bunch of trainers, as well as that little healing house. But it doesn't really amount to much. So I think at this point, I am good to just head back. Uh, so I need to get back to my dad, and I also need to get back to... I don't want to be on the bike for this. Uh, <laughs> I also want to check out the... Um, the trick house because I can do trick house stuff because otherwise I'm pretty sure it's literally just fighting my dad today so we're we're gonna we're gonna have some fun we're gonna do some side things all right let's go explore some of the trick actually before I do that I can finally, now that I have cut, I can actually deal with these trainers and get the stuff over here. So let's do that real quick first. I did also switch Swablu back to the front because these guys are pretty easy to deal with, and Swablu desperately needs some levels. Alright, so cleared everything out over there. There wasn't a whole lot to get, just a couple of items and a couple trainers, as well as a few berries. Uh, so not a whole lot to do. Uh, one thing I have definitely seen with both Swablu and with uh, Skarmory that's going to be an issue is it takes a long time for them to learn any particularly good moves. Uh, I believe Swablu, after it evolves into Octaria, will be able to learn pretty much all of the good, like beam type moves, like your good ice beams, flamethrower, thunderbolt, that sort of stuff. Um, I know it can learn earthquake as well, but I'm pretty sure it's more of a special attacker anyway. Um, so I'm probably going to have it be largely my special attacker, especially since it's going to be dragon type. Uh, in fact, I probably won't even have a flying type move on it. Uh, <laughs> it'll probably be like dragon breath, ice beam, thunderbolt, and flamethrower or something. Although I'll have a fire type, so maybe not flamethrower. Um, I don't know. I'll figure it out. Um, not that worried about it right now, obviously. Uh, now, Skarmory, unfortunately, just doesn't have a very good move pool. Um, it's a very tanky Pokemon, which is really nice, but... Uh, and it will learn Steel Wing eventually, but I believe that's not until it's in its, like, 40s or something. Uh, future me, go ahead and fact check that. Um, but, yeah, it, it doesn't have a great move pool to begin with. Um, so, gonna have to figure that out. It might actually be worth it to go ahead and just teach it Steel Wing now. The only reason I'm not doing that is because it can technically learn Steel Wing later, and I'd rather not waste the TM uh, if there's a potential that I might want to give it to someone else. Um, but I don't know. We'll figure that out. Get there when we get there. 
Uh, you might hear a couple of things going on outside. Alyssa's home. Um, she's talking to people, getting packages, generally taking care of things since I'm kind of out of commission. Uh, <laughs> recovering. But, yeah, we'll make it work. Uh, one nice thing is with the new place, we have made one of the rooms into pretty much an office, which is also working as my recording space. Uh, so rather than recording in my living room now, where it's more likely to be noisy, I can just kind of shut the doors here and it becomes a lot quieter, a lot quicker, uh, or a lot more effectively, I should say. It's also in the quietest room in the house to begin with. So it works pretty well. Uh, I think this is going to work much better for future recordings. Um, still getting off some of the kinks worked out, but I think it's gonna work really nicely. All right, and so anyone who hasn't, who isn't familiar with the trick room in Gen 3, the way these rooms work is the, the goal of all of these is to find the scroll and then get to the door. Uh, that's what you have to do in every single one of these is just find the scroll and then find the door. Uh, because to get through the door, you have to use whatever you memorized from the scroll. Uh, to get through. And then upon doing that, dude will give you an item, and then every time you get another badge, it'll unlock another trick room. So we should have a few trick rooms, actually, that we can do now. Uh, and these places usually have a bunch of items, usually a lot of mail, so nothing too exciting, usually. But, you know, they've got some stuff here. It's an Oh, that's right, I have Natural Cure. Uh, so I recovered my paralysis after battle. That's pretty neat, but, you know, generally, generally these places are kind of fun. Alright, so once you get the scroll, you write down the secret code, which is usually things like Trick Master is blank, in this case it's fabulous, and then that'll let you get to the Trick Master, who then just gives you something. Took me all night to plant those trees. Fine, have this reward. Got a rare candy. Cool. Yeah, so he just gives you something weird. Come back for the next installment. Exit through our little door here. Still can't run in this room because I am still inside. And somehow this pops me back out here. Don't really know how. But yeah, if you've earned up a bunch of these, then you can just kind of keep doing this. Uh, over and over, each each one is slightly different. Usually, it'll you make you use a uh, a gem that you have recently unlocked the ability to use. Uh, and the main reason I'm doing this now is because I need to get some levels anyway. Oh, this one's just gonna be switches. Cool. All right, the secret code. Trick master is smart. Sure thing, bud. What do you have for me this time? Your shard took me all night to make that maze. You're almost my equal by one, two, three, four, five places. That's how many more trick rooms we have uh, in total. Uh, the last one unlocks I either when you beat the final gym or when you beat the Elite Four. I can't remember which. But that's one more trick room down. I think we should still have a couple more that we can do. Alright, so it looks like this trick house is requiring Rock Smash, which thankfully we have, so there we go. Looks like there's also going to be some switches involved as well. Alright, the secret code this time is Trickmaster is coveted. Alright, fair enough. And what do you have to say for yourself? All night to prepare those wall panels. Alright. And we got a hard stone that will boost the power of rock type moves, of which I have none. So it's not super useful to me right now, but that's one more trick house down. All right, it looks like we have exhausted the trick houses. Uh, if he doesn't, if he's still actually just in his house when you enter, that means that we need to beat another gym before he'll have another trick house available. So, he won't have another one available until we beat the next gym. So, I guess we will go back and fight our dad. F 
finally! <laughs> Alright, it is finally time. Hopefully. Uh, after the last episode, I have to say hopefully- Okay, my dad is not here. That means it is finally time for me to start fighting this gym. Thank god. Alright, yeah, I always thought that this was gym 4. Apparently it's gym 5, but... Alright, cool. So this one just has a bunch of different gimmick rooms. Uh, I'm probably gonna fight them all because I need the experience. And at the very end, we will have my dad. This is the normal type gym. Uh, so I could probably be actually just be sweeping this with uh, Combustin. Combustin? Combustin. His new name is Combustin. Uh, which would probably be the better idea. But we're gonna make it work. I do want to get Skarmory to level 30. Uh, just to be kind of on par with everyone else. I do still desperately, desperately need to train up. Uh, uh, future Altaria. Swablu. But we'll, we'll get there when we get there. Alright, it is finally time for us to face our father. Dad. Norman. Alright. Get a battle with my own child. Battle's a battle, I'll do everything I can to win. So you better give your best shot too. Oh, you are going down, old man. You were never there for mom and I. Nah, whatever, I'm sure he's doing just fine. All right, so starting off with this iconic Spinda. I'm gonna hopefully be able to just take this out immediately. Uh, Cause that Spinda can, these Spindas can mess you up. Uh, his most powerful thing is his slacking. Uh, oh, that's right. He has a, also has a couple of Vigoroths. I can't remember his exact team. I know he has Vigoroth, slacking, Spinda. He might have an additional Spinda or an additional Vigoroth. Uh, looks like I am faster than the Spindas, which is nice. Uh, hopefully I can get him to use his item here. Yeah, there we go. I'm gonna go with Rock Smash on this one, see if I can uh, lower his defense. Yeah, there we go. Uh, I should be able to take him out with a double kick regardless, but I am a little worried that Slash will get a critical. Although it looks like I should be fine. Okay, cool. Alright. It's gonna lose Lenoon. Okay, so this is his other one. His final guy is going to be a slacking. Um, I might have wanted to switch over at this point to someone else because Kaboskin just got KO'd. Um, so let's stall out a bit with Skarmory. This is why we have him. He is our special defense tank. Well, also, he, he's just our defense. He is our tank. He's not going to be able to do a whole lot of damage. I don't know how many items Norman has, but basically unless these guys get a crit on me, they're not really going to do much damage. I'm going to try and do this without do using any items. I may end up having to use a couple items to restore... Uh, to restore Combuskin, uh, just to be able to finish off that slacking. But we're, we're going to try. We're gonna try and see if we can do this without item usage. Although he's using items, so I won't feel too bad if I have to. Sweet, got a crit. I'm, I'm always good for crits. I can also go with the sand attack strat, although the last time, the last few times I've tried to use sand attack in battles, they have not. It's not done anything. Uh, but we, we can go with that strat as well, because uh, it looks like we should be going on to his last Pokemon here. And if I can withstand a single attack from this guy, I should be able to get several sand attacks off on him, because he will have true arms as his ability. Okay, can I survive? No, I cannot. Slacking is a beast. Okay. So, let's go ahead and move into Swellow. Go with a Secret Power, or I could start double-teaming. I think I'd rather go with Secret Power, though, uh, because it has the 
potential of that. Exactly what I wanted. Perfect. And paralysis does also work with loafing. Uh, you can get paralyzed on your turn, which will use your turn, and then your next turn you will have to loaf. So you can... Paralysis with loafing around is really, really nasty. Uh, and at this point, I'm just going to start spamming double team. Uh, because it's either this or use items, basically, to be able to take this guy out. Either way, I, it feels kind of cheap, but you know what? We're making it work. We're making it work. Alright, I'm just gonna max out my double teams. This is why I have it. Swellow is... This is what I have Swellow for. Uh, because if he gets a single hit on me, I'm probably gonna die. Uh, <laughs> just letting you know right now, Slacking is... Has pseudo legendary stats. Uh, the only saving grace here is that he has Truant and also the loafing around. Oh, he's gonna put me to sleep. He actually managed to get that off. Huh? I could avoid that by switching, but then I would lose all of the. Uh, stat changes that I've done, so I think I would rather just wait out the sleep, because at this point I think I have a better chance of just waiting out the sleep. Alright. We are playing risky today, but I think it's gonna pay off well. It's gonna be a, it's gonna be a good battle. Alright, cool. He's still paralyzed. I woke up. I think I've made him already use all of his items, so at this point I just need to start shipping him down. Oh, he got a faint attack off though, and that completely bypasses my uh, evasion, so it doesn't matter that I raised my evasion. But that also meant he was using a dark type move, which is special, so he doesn't have a whole lot of that. Alright, we beat Leader Norman! I can't believe it! I lost my own kid? Yeah, you did. Grew up while you weren't looking. Got the balance badge. Which makes a lot more sense when, uh, you have to deal with his Spinda, you know, making it so that you're off balance and confused and whatnot. Or you can just double kick at Spinda right off the bat and not have to deal with that. <laughs> Is this Teeter Dance? Facade. Okay. Doubles the power of moves if the Pokemon is poison paralyzed, paralyzed or burned. Okay, yeah, fair enough. Cool. So I can now use Surf outside of battle. Let me borrow let me borrow your kid for a bit. Uh what do you want, old man? Why are why are all of these adults always running around me like this? I don't appreciate it. Well, he's become very healthy thanks to you. Happy he's gained such a good friend. I want you to have this. Cool, and I'm pretty sure this is Surf. There we go. Alright, cool. So we now have Surf. I can actually teach this one. Uh... So we'll go ahead and teach that to Pelipper. Uh, yeah, let's replace Water Gun. <laughs> we finally have a decent water move on Pelipper now. The two people I were not, I was not super expecting to get knocked out that quickly in this gym. Uh. Skarmory and Combuskin, the two people I planned on having, you know, there to sweep the gym, are the ones who got knocked out. But, you know what? Whatever works. But now we have Surf, which means that we can move forward. I don't actually remember where the next gym is, but we'll, we'll figure it out. Uh, the important thing is, we have finally beaten our dad. I'm gonna go grab this item that I'm pretty sure is up here. And then we will, I will see you guys in our next episode of Pokemon.